Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jolie Greenbaum. I'm Mary Keurig's Executive Assistant, and today we're going to be talking about forms and spousal sponsorship applications. So I think forms are the part of the application that clients are most worried about, and that's completely normal because forms are extremely tedious and require attention to detail. So we often suggest to people that if you're not comfortable doing paperwork or you're not especially detail-oriented, that you hire a representative because truthfully forms are the part of the application that require the least amount of errors. There cannot be absolutely no errors in the forms. There have been times where we've heard clients that have submitted applications uh, without representative where they had accidentally forgotten to sign a section of the form, there had been a gap in the dates, or they'd simply forgotten to check off a single box and that had resulted in the application being sent back fully completely delaying the application process, and nobody wants that. So when you hire our firm to do your spousal sponsorship application, we work together with you to complete these forms. So what that means is that we work in helping you to fill it out, and then prior to our submission of the application, we will double, we will triple check to make sure that the form is filled out completely, fully, and accurately. So I think the most important thing about immigration forms is that there can be absolutely no gaps in the dates. So that means there are certain sections where you need to fill out about your work history, your education history, uh, your activity over a certain amount of years, um, and stuff like that. So you really need to make sure that the dates line up perfectly. So there can't be even a gap of a month. Everything needs to go from some sections, it's from five years, from 10 years. For those five years or for those 10 years, there can't even be a gap of a single month. So be sure that when you're completing out these forms, that there's a flow for five years or for 10 years without any gaps. It's also important to ensure that you complete every section. You can't forget to complete a section. So with that comes reading all the instructions and making sure that you complete every section necessary for your specific case. And something else that we do with our clients is that when it comes time to actually signing the forms, we provide them signing instructions because it is just as equally important to remember to not just sign everywhere that needs to be signed, but to make sure that every section that doesn't need to be signed is not signed. And to be honest, this can be very confusing. The instructions are a little bit ambiguous and maybe not necessarily as easy to understand. So that's why we help our clients and we instruct them exactly who needs to sign where and on what forms. So with this, we find that in submitting an application, the forms always need to be completely and 100% accurate because otherwise, as I had said earlier, uh, there, you run the risk of having the application sent back or in the worst case scenario being downright refused simply because the forms were not completed accurately. At our office, we always wait to complete and sign the forms at the very end of the application process. We feel this is really important because it's always, one, important to have fresh signatures and even more importantly, we find that form versions can actually change. So it's important to verify with I, on the IRCC website that you're actually using the newest version of the form because if by accident you fill out a form and it's last month or last year's version, again, you run the risk of having the application be sent back and then ultimately delaying the application process. So if you have any questions regarding immigration forms for spousal sponsorship applications, please feel free to contact our office and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.